Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to review another Pilot Frixian product for you and these are just the most outstanding things I have ever seen. These are the Frixian Colors Erasable, get ready for this, markers. I kid you not guys, these are erasable markers. Never in my life did I think I would see these in existence and these are just the most amazing quality ever and the color availability is outstanding so let's just take a closer look at some of these so they have a cap they're really nice size let me see if there's a size on here it doesn't say I don't know but everything except for the brand name is in Japanese so I can't really tell but these are the erasers they are the same as the retractable pens I will link my review of the pilot Frixian retractable erasable pens down below and so it's the same sort of rubbery eraser that leaves no residue and doesn't crumble off which is outstanding and then let me see if I can open it with one hand I don't think so here we go we open this oh no oh so when you open it, you can see there's a really nice fine tip felt pen or marker here. They write like a dream. They're beautiful colors and they erase super cleanly. These are just outstanding. So if you wanna write color coding in your planners or your journals or anything you want to be able to write in books, highlight certain sections, they actually have um, highlighters as well. I have not purchased them because I really don't have a need for highlighters, especially since I bought the pens or the markers. So I want to go ahead and show you how the markers, just like I did with the pens, I want to show you how the markers work in a couple of different types of commonly used media. So I have, I will explain all of this later, but I have the set of 24. So first, let's start with the Filofax. This is my Filofax Malden in personal size in purple, and I love her. She's beautiful. And later on, I will do a video on how I'm actually using my Filofax. But for now, we're just gonna take a look at this. So here are all 24 colors. And they are stunning. Aren't they just beautiful? The ink is so clean. They write like a dream. Let me see here. Ha ha ha. It's so smooth, it's, and it's so great. And then let's take a look at the bleed through because they are markers. So you're like, well, what could the bleed through be? This is what you see for the bleed through. And it's actually really not so bad if you think about it because they're markers. And this is on Filofax brand paper. This is the end of 2014 on their week on two, two pages spread that I got to start my 2015 calendar came with the Filofax. So if you wrote over it, I mean, you can still see a little bit of the bleed through, but it's not distracting. It doesn't take away from whatever you write on that particular page. So for if you really wanted to use them in your Filofax, you could. Let me see if I can find, let me get a little quick glimpse into my Filofax here. For example, this is today. I'm filming on Monday, and this is my to-do list. I've got some Studio L2E stamps going on here, my hydrate stamps and all that, but I digress. This is all written in the markers. Beautiful, wonderful, colorful, outstanding, and you can't really, you don't really notice, do you? You don't really notice the bleed through on the next day. So. I personally think between the pens and the markers, I love just color, not even color coding. I just like color, as you can tell by the rainbow washi. Um, and they just, it just looks so nice, doesn't it? It just looks so nice. So I love them. And in the Filofax, I think they work like a dream. So now let's go ahead and move on. This is my blog planner. It is a plum paper planner from Etsy. Um, I will link their shop down below. I will link everything down below. And this is comparable, the paper in here is comparable to that of the Erin Condren Life Planner as well. So, and I, my Erin Condren Life Planner was from 2014, so it is packed in a box right now. And because I have a Filofax for 2015, I, I couldn't bring myself to order a, an Erin Condren Planner as well. Despite my heavy, heavy desire for one, I really still want one. And I'm resisting the urge every day. Um, if you're still in need of a planner, there will be a link down below where you can get $10 off your first Erin Condren order. Um, but again, I digress. I could ramble on and on. This is what the markers look like in the paper, in the plum paper planner. 
um, and they will look similar in the Erin Condren planner. And here's the bleed through, which is really none. The quality of the paper being used in uh, custom planners nowadays is just outstanding. And so like you can see ever so slightly, but I'm not even looking through the camera lens. Like I have to look away from the camera and live to see it. So if you started writing uh, over this, you wouldn't even notice the bleed through on the other side at all. So for the plum paper, Erin Condren, anything of the like, the like um, I imagine Inkwell Press planners, which are new this year, um, The I can't remember what they're called, Inkwell Press. Uh, they're not life planners, but there's something like that. Um, and another one that I wanted, but how many planners does a girl need in any given year? Uh, don't answer that, because I'm sure a lot of you are like, well, four, which I would totally agree with, but my husband would not. Um, but all of those types of planners, they would react the same way. So these are great for planners like that. And then we have my new baby, the Midori Traveler's Notebook. And in here I have, let's start with, doo, 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 doo. I just got this, so there's not a whole lot happening just yet. It was one of my big Japan purpose, purchases um, because they're a lot cheaper here than they are in the United States. So this is just the basic brown refill that comes with it and is one of the least expensive to get refilled. This is Midori brand. This is the refill number 003. And I didn't use all 24 markers because why? So I just picked a couple of the darker colors and then one of the lighter ones, a nice yellow, to show you they look vibrant and amazing on the paper. And then you flip it over and the bleed through is I guess it's what you would expect from a marker. I mean, guys, remember these are markers, so they're definitely going to bleed. They don't bleed nearly as bad as, say, a Sharpie pen would, or a Sharpie marker, rather. Um, so, which is saying something. So if you wrote over this, I mean, I guess you could end up, let's see, let's try. So you could kind of ignore the bleed through, but not really. So for them, it depends what you do with your Midori. A lot of people actually take their Midori, and I'm going to start doing this once I'm home and have access to all the stuff I need. I'm very limited in what I have because I'm in my tiny Jap Japan apartment. But people will take scrapbooking cards and paper and paints and do all sorts of stuff. And if you do things like that on these papers, you won't notice the bleed through, obviously, and then if you use it to write over those scrapbooking papers. But if you were just going to use this as a straight journal and just keep writing words, I would imagine it would get distracting to try and read what's on a given page when you have to see when you see the bleed through from the other page. The other refill I wanted to show you was their lightweight paper. This is refill number 013. And this paper is super thin. Again, the markers look beautiful and vibrant on the one side that you use them on, but on the other side, the bleed through is pretty significant. And you could even take, I've done this before, take an extra page and layer it over and you can still see some of the bleed through. Um, so for the lightweight, I probably wouldn't recommend this again, unless you are doing something that involves the scrapbooking paper or paints or something over it that would help distract from the bleed through on the opposite side. But all, so for the Midori, my rating is eh, you could probably find a little bit better. But for general planner addict purposes, using it in your life planner or your Philofax or your basic journal, all of that, um, I say go for it. And I want to show you, let's see if I can do it without making a total mess with one hand here. Um, these are... This is a set of 24. I have not found a set of 24 available. Well, that's a lie. I have found a set of 24 available on Amazon.com. I have found them for a pretty hefty price, and they do not come in this really cute heart container. I happened to find this container of these in a stationery store if eight minutes walk away from our apartment, and that made me very happy, but I then researched to see if I could find it online and I cannot. But I will link the different sets that are available below. I've seen them in sets of six, I've seen them in sets of 12, I've seen them in sets of 24. But the color is outstanding. They come in like, there are some sets that are like, like these turquoisey colors and the purple and like the light pink. So there's a couple of like the more pastel-y, tropical-y colors that happen. And then there's like, you can get your basic set that's got like the red, orange, yellow, black, 
dark blue, dark green, things like that. But this is, from what I can gather, the options that are out there. And these markers, guys, uh, it, it's like, it's happiness for adults. You know how excited you would get with a new box of crayons or a new box of Crayola markers when you were a kid? This is like that for an adult. I have never been so excited about a set of markers in my life. They're just, they're outstanding. And yes, in the United States, they're a little bit more pricey. I am so lucky to have been able to find them while I've been in Japan because they are significantly cheaper. I paid 2,400 yen for this entire set, and these, which comes down to less than $1 for each marker which for some might still seem kind of steep but for the quality of these markers and for how amazingly erasable they are oh that's not that's what I forgot to show you I guess I kind of showed you but I I didn't actually like acknowledge it this is how erasable they are and so again I used uh, again I did this in the pen video as well my husband volunteered his hands to erase for me because with my muscular dystrophy my hands are weaker than normal so it would take me a little bit more effort to get results like this but this is Eric just simply swiping his hand and erasing like you would for any normal strength human being and the results are pretty outstanding focus no focus and I mean, again, if I went over it a little bit longer, it would be flawless, but these are markers. Look at how erasable these markers are. It just, the first time I tried it, it really truly blew my mind. So sorry, I forgot to show that earlier, but that's how erasable they are. So four markers, ugh, these are just outstanding, highly recommended. Links will be down below. If you guys know of any other products that are similar to this or would make great additions to my collection, please, please, please let me know in the comments below because I am I am a bona fide, certified planner nerd and I want all of the things. I want all of the stickers, all of the stamps, all of the fun things for journaling. And adding these to my collection was one of the most brilliant things ever and even my husband who doesn't understand why I'm obsessed with this stuff thinks that these markers are great and is very pleased with the fact I decided to purchase them and we are very confused as to why this technology and why this product has not been brought over to the United States yet if you are watching pilot people bring this to the United States, you would make millions I kid you not so that is everything for this video um, if you liked it, go ahead and subscribe for more videos of all sorts. And there will also be a coordinating blog post over at my blog, divaandthedivine.com, where you can find more information and photographs on these markers. I hope all of you are well. And as always, thank you for watching. Take care, and I will see you next time. Bye.